Hi. Let's learn about flotation costs. Flotation costs are incurred by a publicly traded company when it issues new securities and incurs expenses, such as underwriting fees, legal fees, and registration fees. Companies must consider the impact these fees will have on how much capital they can raise from a new issue. Flotation costs, expected return on equity, dividend payments, and the percentage of earnings the business expects to retain are all part of the equation to calculate a company's cost of new equity. The equation for calculating the flotation cost of new equity using the dividend growth rate is, dividend growth rate equals D1 slash, plus G, where D1 is the expected dividend payment, P is the price per share, F is the flotation cost, and G is the expected growth rate. Companies raise capital in two ways, debt via bonds and loans or equity. Some companies prefer issuing bonds or obtaining a loan, especially when interest rates are low and because the interest paid on many debts is tax-deductible, while equity returns are not. Other companies prefer equity because it does not need to be paid back, however, selling equity also entails giving up an ownership stake in the company. Flotation costs are expressed as a percentage of the issue price and are incorporated into the price of new shares as a reduction. As an example, assume company A needs to raise $100 million in common stock at $10 per share to meet its capital requirements. Investment bankers receive 7% of the funds raised. Company A pays out $1 in dividends per share next year and is expected to increase dividends by 10% the following year. In this case, the cost of new equity is calculated to be 20.7%. The difference between the cost of new equity and the cost of existing equity is the flotation cost, which is 0.7%. Some analysts argue that including flotation costs in the company's cost of equity implies that flotation costs are an ongoing expense and forever overstates the firm's cost of capital. To offset this, some analysts adjust the company's cash flows for flotation costs. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Flotation costs are costs a company incurs when it issues new stock. 2. Flotation costs make new equity cost more than existing equity. 3. Analysts argue that flotation costs are a one-time expense that should be adjusted out of future cash flows in order to not overstate the cost of capital forever. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.